Lively, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have a matchup of two of the more talented, young, and explosive receivers in the NFL. It's Mike Evans versus Julio Jones. So with kickoff straight ahead, we'll check in with our broadcast team. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, and what is scheduled to be its final season as an NFL stadium, there's a look at the Georgia Dome here in Atlanta. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he's brought down. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the third down passing situation. You know most people got dial up some sort of pressure. And they did, and they got to him while he was in the pocket. In that situation, you know as a quarterback, they're coming. On first and ten, Winston. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chuck on it because they've been trying to fine-tune it and get that. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Second down, Winston. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that is caught. What a catch inside the five. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Mike Evans, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs are just an extra point away from grabbing the lead now. And he's got it up and... Winston now from the 50. He rifles with strike. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they'll be looking to avoid. And he'll give it here to his running back. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. It's a pick. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five here as they need four yards on third down. Ryan. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in the fourth. Big two-point conversion attempt still to come. To throw for it is Ryan. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that has going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. Evans has it left side. And he's brought down after a good game. Really nice little connection there. They go with the corner route, and it works out. Well. So a chance for the defense to really close out this game if they can halt the offense. They'll run it with Jackson. And some space here. He hops over him. That's why you same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as he off. On the ground with a tight end. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Garrett Selleck, his first touchdown on the year. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. 
And now a critical extra point attempt here. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. And in the backfield. Throwing now is Ryan. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Brent Grimes. And they will take over. Now Winston. And Braith, the tight end's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And the Falcons get... Now they'll run it on the toss. A strong running. <laughs> oh, no, he lost the football. And they will take off. Coming out on the field. And we got three, we got three. Check out, check out. Now Ryan. And that will be incomplete as well. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. And it's fourth down. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. Taking it about the 16. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. Bike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. One receiver to the left is Evans. Here's Winston. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And the return this time will go out to the 42. Ryan to throw. It's caught. Jones. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. And quickly, they get to the line. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. Oh, no, he lost the football. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. And the Buccaneers getting ready. Cross the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And here in overtime... If the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And the defense not able to get it. For, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment? Throwing again, Ryan. And Joe pick up there as the drive will continue. Every snap. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Again, they run it with Cole. And he's going to be stopped up right. Now the Buccaneers go ahead and take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. The defense won that play so fast that I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. This one is right through. And they take a 17-14 lead. Now the first throw in overtime for Winston. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And down he goes, but he... A really nice pickup. First down, Winston. Surveying the field. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Kendall Wright, the intended target. And they went big on first... 
Jameis now on first down. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. So third down, and the Falcons going with a dime. Six defensive banks. Jameis to throw it. And that is incomplete for this thing on fourth down. Winston to throw for it on four. And this is incomplete. The Bucs try it on fourth down to come up empty. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. Well, we thought this game would be a good one. It did not disappoint into overtime, and it took the field goal to win it. And we always pay lip service to how important it is to play defense. And usually we focus on the big offensive pyrotechnics, right? But in this case, they got the ball back on defense, gave themselves a chance, and they capitalized on it with a victory. And I don't care what distance that field goal's from in overtime. The knees are always knocking, <laughs> but he pushed it through. Not only that, think about your snapper, your holder. A lot of nerves for them, too, because they have to do their job in order to give him one last chance to put a foot to it. So for Atlanta, the win will move them to 7-2 and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Bucs, 